broken my heart so many times I stopped keeping track talk myself in. you see um, the tops are off the other varietals the tops are closed and they pump the juice from the bottom back over the top but in Pino Explain how you're yeah. doing the punch down. Yeah, so what we, what is that part of the process? Because you're going to start doing that pretty soon, right? Well, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we do punch down by hand, two or three or or sometimes even four times per day because as fermentation starts taking off, mm -hmm. all these skins and seeds float to the top because okay. of all the CO2 that's being produced by the fermentation process. Okay. So we punch the skins back down into the bottom so that that extraction can continue because if you didn't punch it down there would just be a cap of skins floating on the top and then down below would be juice that's not really getting contact with the skin so, so that's and so we arrive at the color because of the skins and of course the tannins what you feel here in the wine that's coming from the skins as well so you need that exposure then right and how long of a process is that? I mean, if you're, when you're doing punch downs, is that something you're doing for weeks on end, or? Well, about two weeks. Okay. Yeah, we're um, the very active fermentation is going on for about two weeks, and then, and then you still, it really starts slowing down as most of the sugar has been converted from sugar to alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, that the fermentation really starts slowing down and then you don't have the skins floating up as much and so um, but then you're getting close to the time to press the wine off of off of the skin and um, there too try to do that as gently as we can because kind of yeah because they're, they're it's a little thinner skin very right. much so yeah it's, uh, it's very delicate right that's why you know Pinot Noir is very difficult to work with yeah yeah. And why it's so rewarding when you get it right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a delicate wine, but one, you know, if you, if you learn to enjoy Pinot Noir, I think most people learn to enjoy it because of those little fine details about it. Sure. And so then when you're done with the punch downs, then you're going to put that into French oak barrels? What's the program for that? Right. We use all French oak for okay. Pinot Noir. Um, and we use one third new barrels each okay. year. And then the second third are second year barrels. Okay. And then the final third go into neutral barrels. A neutral barrel. So, so a barrel, barrel that's, that's been, been used, used several times? Two, and more than two times. More than two times. Okay. After those first couple of vintages, most of uh, a large part of the tannins and oak characteristics have been extracted out of the oak. Mm -hmm. So those neutral barrels, though, add a nice um, roundness and keep you from having a wine that's just got too much oak in it we know when it's new and you right. run into that sometimes mm -hmm. where you'll find a wine where they you think wow they've over oaked it five years down the road you'll have a different impression of it but mm -hmm. so we like to find the balance and mm -hmm. i think that third new third second year third neutral barrel regimen really worked no it did well. really well i mean it uh, obviously made a beautiful one so how long are we leaving it in the barrel before you then take it out to, to bottle it. We barrel age for about 10 months okay. so that we can get the prior year's vintage moved out of the winery in time for the, the new year's vintage. So okay. we just bottled our 09 vintage mm -hmm. and getting the winery all cleaned up and set up ready to go for the 2010 vintage which will be coming in here in about a week and a half or so for our Pinot Noir. Okay. So. And and then you rack the wines, the, the Pinot Noir, you're racking them like you do, like you do with Zins or caps? Sure, yeah, because you've always got the leaves settling out in the barrels. Uh -huh. And so before we go to bottle, we'll rack off of those leaves. And you want to make sure you're getting just the pure wine that's going into the bottle. Um, you don't want to... You don't have big chunks of stuff. Exactly. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well there's no chunks in there. Yeah. Uh, great price point. Uh, we have this at, what, 30, 35? Right. Um, so now, again, we're talking about a state Pinot Noir, and every week I've challenged, I'll challenge anybody in America, anybody that's watching, I don't care where you are, you go to the store and you show me an estate grown Pinot Noir from one single appellation. So I can't say, if it says California on the label, that means it came from all over the planet. But we're talking about really 
a single vineyard. But you, you almost could break it down that that far. Well, I'll give you. We do. I'll, I'll give you a, a break on that. You don't. It doesn't have to be single vineyard. It's got to be a single appellation and a state wine. That means they own it or they they, they control it from the ground up. And you show me one at a better price, bring it in the tasting room, I'll buy it from you. I'm, I'm just telling you, you're not going to see it. I'm, and I price shop all the time. I look, I, my eyes are everywhere on, on that stuff. And I'm always looking. And, a, and an estate Pinot Noir, you're just not seeing it. Um, you're just not. They're not in that price range. They're in that 45 plus range all the time. So um, my first tips members, you guys get the big deal on this wine. So uh, you got to be loving that. And uh, I'm going to make another uh, announcement later on about the wine club and some things we've got in the, in the bag that we're working on right now. But uh, you guys are going to get some pretty cool things coming down the road. That's a beautiful Pinot Noir. Uh, aging on this. Uh, people always want to know aging on Pinot. How, how, what's the timeline? Well, we figure ours are just going to continue to get better with bottle aging over the first five years or so.